Ludlow Kissel's private clock told him that now was the time to strike. He began to move. Men are driven by forces beyond their control. Demons howling in the soul. Kissel knew what he had to do. Hello? Hey, Zudok. I don't know. Now, the TV blew up in the second game. The yeah, damnedest thing. The first inning. Ah, uh, Mrs. Kissel. Dedicated reader of true romances. She was the kind of woman who would play the piano while the Titanic sank. Great Scott, that looks like some kind of mortar shell. Maybe Russian in origin. Wait a minute, Sudan. Kissel was about to celebrate the founding of our nation, which had provided such a bounteous life for him and his. Zunok, I'll call you back. Something's happening out front. Holy smoke! Gone. Where is it? Where is that nutty thing? It's gone. <laughs> it's coming this way. That house is now an official historic shrine. There's a plaque on it that says Lud Kissel lived here. Lud Kissel became part of the timeless folklore of Indiana. Stories have been told during long winters, and folk songs written about him. American needs you and the standard. 